So hey, what's up guys? Just uh, hanging out with Chris and Jeff and I wanted to talk about the griddle that I loved, then the griddle that I hated, and now the griddle that I'm okay with. So this is the Blackstone 22. I got this at Walmart. Um, and when I first got it, I was using the smaller propane tanks, the one or, one or two pounders, whatever they are, and everything was great. It was nice and hot. And then I bought the, I hooked up the adapter to use a, the regular size tank and it worked great, then the next time I cooked on it, it wouldn't really get hot at all. So, uh, I'm going to take this off so you can see. Can you grab the grease trap from the back, Jeff? Yeah. So you can see what the issue was. And I know, I read the instructions and it said, you know, you got to turn the gas on slow. But I tried that and I'll show you what happened. So, I'm going to open the tank, light the burner. Yep. So that's, that's it, that's what happened. So you saw it flicker a little bit. I'm gonna hold the mic down. And you can, I don't even think you can hear any gas coming on anymore. So what happened is initially when I opened the tank, I'm not sure if it's the line, if I looked online, I could probably figure it out if it's the line or there's a pressure regulator in here that when it overpressurizes, it basically shuts down the gas flow to here. So the way I found to fix it, that's kind of like a guarantee to get it lit and I tried bleeding off the tank and everything but just close the tank down let the gas out sometimes you have to wait a little bit but we'll try this again open this turn your burner on and listen for the gas I'll move the mic over again and open your tank really slowly to hear the gas flowing So I can hear it now, we'll let it flow for a minute, and then we'll come back and light it. Well, not a full minute, but... Okay, now, leave that on high, light the second burner. And now you can very slowly open the tank up a little bit more, a little bit more, and you should be go good to go. So, yeah, that looks good. If your gas isn't flowing all the way, when you turn it to low, your burners will almost go out. But that I found when I get that overpressurization, if I just turn the tank on just until the gas starts flowing, get the first one lit, and slowly open it up the rest of the way, it seems to take care of it. So after I figured that out, I'm back to being real happy with the 22. A couple things I don't like about it, but that's probably for another video. Um, Appreciate you guys tuning in. Appreciate all the comments that we're getting and the support. I'm happy for everyone who's left a comment saying that they bought a new griddle. These things are fun. I hope you're happy with them. So thanks for tuning in, guys. We'll see you on the next video.